Hi, brothers and sisters. It is January 31st, 2016, and I pray everybody is doing well. And I've been, um, the Lord has just done something that I didn't understand. And sometimes in life, in situations, things happen the way that we don't expect because of maybe fear of what if, you know, like we start thinking of the what ifs, well, what if some, what if this and what if that, and if you're thinking of the what ifs, where is your trust in God, you know, and so there's, there is a situation that came up having to do with my stepdaughter, and, um, there has been some, like, talk between me and her aunt of having her come stay with me. And I didn't think that that was the right choice. Um, just because it sounded like she was doing really good at, at the place that she was at. And so I was in prayer over this and I'm like you know what God if this is of your will then I surrender it to you you know I surrender her to you I let her go and I just trust you and you know she's um her belief is Buddhism I think that's the word and so you know she does she's not Christian or anything. She grew up Christian, but she fell away. And so I'm not pushing God on her or anything. And I just, I guess because of fear and thinking of the what ifs, like I just, I had, I didn't think it was the right plan for her to come stay with me. But I'm like, okay, God, you know, let your will be done, you know? And so with this fast, there is talk with me, um, between me and her aunt. And next thing I know, Friday comes and I'm moving her in. <laughs> I was on my way home from work and I'm talking with her aunt and she's telling me that papers are done and she's transferred to me and I'm like oh my gosh this is like no like I'm fighting this I'm fighting this because I feel like it wasn't the right decision but it me fighting it was truly me fighting God's will and I realized that now so I was on my way home from work and I'm riding the bus and I'm like talking with her aunt and I'm like this is just crazy and then God's like Angela really no it's not and I'm going to show you to what scripture he led me to and didn't even I wasn't this that part wasn't planned but this video it just popped up See how the Holy Spirit just does things. He just pops up and he's like, hey, do this, you know. So I knew that the Lord was wanting me to read James. Because James 1. And I was reading James 1, like a, a verse on the bus. And I knew he wanted me to read the rest. So when I got home, I read the rest. And this is what it is. Is it, was it James? I think it is James yeah yes it is all right this is what it says this is James 1 27 okay well 26 27 if you claim to be religious but don't control your tongue you are fooling yourself and your religion is worthless okay James 1 27 pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows and their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. And I say this because my stepdaughter lost her mother to cancer 
about less than a year ago. And so when that happened, you know, her world just fell apart. And so her father is in prison. And so she's been talks from person to person to person. And, and I've been praying for God to guide her to where he wants her, you know, where she can come to salvation or, you know, just wherever God wants or whatever his plan is, you know, because his ways are not our ways or our ways or our will is not his will. Like what we think is right is not what he thinks is right. Like I thought her coming to my house was the wrong choice, but that was God's plan. And it went in and I said, Lord, if this is of your will, give her heart because at first she was very stubborn she refused she wasn't going to move you know and i said god i mean i've been praying i've been praying and fasting and i was been was praying and i said lord if this is of your will then soften her heart give her a willingness to be willing and something happened last week I was on the bus and I'm talking with her and she was willing. She was willing to give this a shot, which means to leave everything that she knew, to leave her friends, to leave her school, to leave her life, you know, back in that city and move in with me and, you know, followed by my rules and go to a different school with new people and, you know, just a new life. And she took that shot and she's doing it. And, but it showed me like, wow, God, here I am the whole time I was fighting you with this situation. No matter what obstacle comes your way that you may not understand that God if it is of his will, it will be done. And you can't do nothing to stop it. Because here I am, I'm thinking it's the wrong choice. Because of fear. Because fear gripped my heart. Because I was thinking of the what ifs. And, you know. But God was orchestrating this behind the scenes the whole time. And so I just, I'm like, wow, I was really fighting God's will when I was saying no, no for her to, you know, for the choice of her coming to stay with me. And, um, but now that she's here, you know, I'm not going to push God on her. I believe the Lord will, you know, people have in order to have a testimony they have to have a test they have to learn they have to make choices and the choices that you make you know you're gonna learn from them and there's just some choices that she's going to learn from and I know it and God has confirmed it with me that she is in his hands and same with all of those uh, people who are watching mothers and fathers who are watching, who have children that are lost in this world and that are of the world and you are interceding and you're praying for, you know, the Lord hears your prayers. He hears them and they are safe and just have that faith, you know. It, we live by faith and not by sight and we're so used to seeing things just like in the present but God sees things that are already done he sees what he's going to do with my stepdaughter he sees the future and so he doesn't look at the now he looks at the after and so even though it may seem as if like everything's going wrong, you know, like it's not happening the way that I think it should. It's happening in God's way. 
in God's plan. And at that perfect moment, she will look up and she will cry out to him. And no matter what it will take, but he's just using me for open arms and love to give to her, you know, because she's been through so much, <laughs> so much. And, you know, and I'm just so surprised because just with the little few days that she's been with me, she has opened up about some of her life. Like she allowed me to read some like personal papers, you know, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of her and I love her so much, you know, I, I don't, I don't have a little girl. And I was asking God, I said, God, why didn't you give me a little girl? And he says, because Amber is your girl. Amber is your daughter. You know, even though I didn't physically have her, you know, I, she's, I love her like my own. And I care for her like my own. And I just wanted to share that with you. Because there's other, I know there's other people out there, a lot of people that make decisions thinking it's the right choice for them but God sees a different God sees something bigger he sees what we think is impossible you know what he sees we just can't seem to understand and we're not really supposed to we're supposed to sit back let go, let God have faith, trust in Him, and just to continue to be that Christ that people see. You know, with her here, I'm gonna love on her. I'm gonna help her with whatever it is that she needs help with, whatever the Holy Spirit leads me to do. But I will not push the Lord upon her. I will not force her to go to church if that's not what she believes but I will be that interceder behind the scenes praying and crying on my face to the Lord for her salvation and praying over her and the, this house and everyone else you know well, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I love you all so much, and I will talk to you later. Um, I do have a dream to share, a very interesting dream, a very encouraging dream, but I haven't got permission yet to share it. I haven't got full revelation, so if you want to pray about something, help me <laughs> pray that I will receive full revelation and um, confirmation of when to share it. So I love you all. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.